Hello, I'm Jeff Axup, Director of User Experience at WebSense. The following video helps answer questions about web security solutions. Thanks, Jeff, and I'm Kay Zimmer with WebSense Engineering. In this video, you'll find out how to use WebSense Web Security to permit or block a URL for specific users, groups, or IP addresses as an exception to their current policy. Web security policies block or permit access to a URL based on the category assigned to it. There may be times, however, when a URL in a blocked category might be useful for a specific client or set of clients. Likewise, a URL in a permitted category might be deemed inappropriate or harmful for some clients in your network. So let's look at how to apply an exception to specific users, groups, or IP addresses. First, log on to Triton Web Security. Next, under Policy Management, click Exceptions. On the Exceptions page, click Add. Enter a unique name for the exception, like Permit Vendor Site for Purchasing, or Block Third-Party Webmail Site for Interns. Next, use the URLs box to enter the URL that you want to permit or block for selected clients. Note that if you enter a URL like www.mysite.com, only the specific site is blocked. If you enter only the domain portion of the URL, however, like mysite.com, any subdomains like ask.mysite.com or support.mysite.com are treated as matches and blocked or permitted as defined in the exception. An exception can include more than one URL. If you enter more than one URL, each one must be on a separate line. By default, Exceptions are global, applying to all clients in all roles. Since we want to identify a group of clients, click Specific Clients in any role. The page updates to include selection lists that let you define one or more clients for the exception. Here, a list of previously defined clients is provided. I want to apply this exception to the sales group, which isn't listed, so I'll click Add other clients. Since I want to add a group from my directory service, I'll open the directory entries folder to find the sales group. I could also enter one or more IP addresses to identify computer or network clients. I'll mark the sales checkbox, then click the right arrow to move the sales group to the selected clients list. When you click OK, the client or clients that you selected now appear in the selected list on the exceptions page. To finish creating the exception, specify its type, in other words, whether it blocks or permits the URL, and whether or not it has an expiration date. By default, any new exception is active meaning that it starts to be used in filtering as soon as you click Save and Deploy. I don't need to make any more changes, so I'll click OK and Save and Deploy to implement the new exception. The new exception appears in the list on the Exceptions page, where you can edit or delete it as needed. This concludes our demonstration. We hope that this has helped you better understand WebSense Web Security Exceptions. Thanks for watching.